why uh, c v n r tech why does the indian air force still use the mig 21s in 2024 let's see or still use the mig 21 welcome back to our channel today you know what i don't want to know. Mm. today we're diving into a fascinating yet controversial topic why does the Indian Air Force still use the MiG-21, a fighter? Oh, nice! They got the f image with the two-seater version as well. Jet introduced over six decades ago. Stick around as we explore the history, reasons, and challenges behind this decision. Historical significance of the MiG-21. The MiG-21, designed by the Soviet Union in the 1950s, became also, one. Also, I'll just pause it and I'll ignore it later on, like throughout this video. But am I the only one who's hearing it? Like, is something wrong with my ears? I feel like they're not saying it right. One of the most successful fighter jets of its time. India inducted the MiG-21 in 1963, making it the backbone of the Indian Air Force for decades. Oh, then again, it's an AI voice. Maybe it's getting the pronunciation and the spacing wrong. Yeah, that could be the gist it. Nicknamed the Flying Coffin due to its high crash rate, it still holds a storied legacy. The MiG-21 played a pivotal role in oh India's wars, God, especially during the 1971 conflict with Pakistan, where it delivered decisive victories. Why is the MiG-21 still in service? The IAF still operates upgraded versions of the MiG-21 for several reasons. Mm -hmm. MiG-21 Bison. 1. Delays in modernization. India has faced delays in acquiring new fighter jets like the Rafale and Tejas making it necessary to extend True. the service life of older. The Rafale, because it's really expensive as hell, like, to get the required amount, which is like 114 or something. We got, uh, the government got like 36, which were like direct purchase, but the majority of the requirement is still unfulfilled. With the Tejas plane that you mentioned, uh, right now it's, at a loss for engines there's a delay on uh, the engine production and supply from us aircraft two operational requirements india's vast airspace and border threats require a large number of operational jets and phasing out the mig 21 abruptly would leave gaps in defense capabilities three cost effective upgrades over the years india has upgraded the mig 21 to the bison standard with advanced avionics radar and weaponry making it suitable for modern warfare to an extent challenges and risks despite the upgrades the mig 21 has significant drawbacks aging airframe e most of these jets are well mm -hmm. past their intended operational life yep. leading to safety concerns high crash rate over 400 MiG-21s have crashed since their induction, resulting in the loss of many pilots and air... And that is unfortunately true, but the 400 figure, I believe, is over a period of like 20 to 30 years. So, the plane itself is also not the easiest thing to like fly and control. On top of which, you add on far exceeding its lifespan and just constantly beating a dead horse of sorts it's a beautiful plane it's amazing with its upgrades but it's just not of it like it's not of these times it's not of today it needs to rest but then you need a good replacement for that craft limited capability the mig-21 cannot compete with modern 4.5 or fifth generation fighters in terms of speed stealth or electronic warfare for what's next for the IAF? The Indian Air Force is actively working to replace the MiG-21. The HAL Tejas, India's indigenous light combat aircraft, is being inducted to phase out these aging jets. Additionally, the IAF is procuring more advanced fighters like the Rafale and pursuing the AMCA project for a fifth-generation stealth fighter. They need to just go ahead and buy the Rafale, like a hundred of those, because there's this long, drawn-out nonsense bullshit program going on to decide quote unquote what plane they will buy meanwhile everybody and their grandma knows they want the rafal so like why drag it out so much just get it you really really need it your numbers are really low 
and then well you can figure out the engine issue with the americans and your own homegrown engine issues you'll have a fantastic homegrown fleet of Tejas, Tejas Mark IIs, and then what uh, he just mentioned, the AMC Indian Stealth Fighter. It's a pretty one, but unfortunately, as it stands right now, it's on paper. While the MiG-21 has served India admirably, its continued operation highlights the challenges of defense modernization in a complex geopolitical environment. Yeah, it has been, the MiG-21 has been milked so much that the in this image right now, the plane that you see behind it is either the 23 or the 27. I believe that's the MiG-27. I could be wrong. It could be the MiG-23. That plane was inducted and bought and like, you know, flown in the Indian Air Force. I, if I know, I have my, if my memory is correct, after the MiG-21. It came in after the MiG-21. The entire fleet of MiG 27s is already retired. So you have a plane which came after this guy and is completely gone before this one. So it's beyond high time this plane is retired. The IAF is on its way to modernizing its fleet, but until the transition is complete, the MiG 21 remains a stopgap solution. Overview of the MiG 21. The MiG-21, also known as a fishbed in NATO terminology, is a supersonic fighter aircraft designed by the Soviet Union. It first flew in 1956 and entered operational service in 1959. 1959 operational service is 2024-25 now. Known for its sleek, delta-wing design, the MiG-21 was revolutionary for its time, combining speed, agility, and simplicity. Over 11,000 units were produced, making it one of the most widely manufactured fighter jets in history. It has been used by over 60 countries, including India, and remains in service in some air forces to this day. Key features of the MiG-21 1. Delta Wing Design The MiG-21 features a delta wing configuration, providing excellent aerodynamics for high-speed performance and agility. However, this design limits its low-speed maneuverability. Yep, that's Two, where compact the difficult-to-handle comes from. It's not the easiest plane to fly. Size. At just over 15 meters in length, the MiG-21 is compact and lightweight, making it easy to operate from short runways. 3. Supersonic speed. Powered by a single turbojet engine, the MiG-21 can achieve a top speed of Mach 2.05, around... Which is really good, actually. Not a lot of modern planes have that speed. And that's not accidental. That's because people realized not every single plane has to fly that fast. Now, it suits this plane to go this fast because it's not a dogfight. It's an inter interceptor. Or that was its original role. So this plane has to just reach an area, a situation area, quick. Either f like fire at the enemy target and fire the enemy or shoo the enemy off and like do something. Get pushed back the other side and then come back home. Doesn't like its role isn't exactly to roam around, look for somebody, fight with them, have a um, like dogfight and then come back home. 2175 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest jets of its era. 4. A versatile role. It was designed as an interceptor but later adapted for multiple roles, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. Those multiple role adaptations is what is causing much more of a harm. Like you can put electronics and engines and other things in the plane. But the body wasn't designed for multi-role use. The body was designed for interception. So if you use it like a multi-role, you're going to have even more wear and tear. 5. Ease of Maintenance The MiG-21 simple design made it relatively easy to maintain, an essential factor for countries with limited resources. Yeah, ease of maintenance, back in the day, now it's, it's scary. Specifications of the MiG-21 Length, 15.76 meters. Wingspan, 7.15 meters. Okay. Height, 4.12 meters. Maximum takeoff it's weight, 9,100 kilograms. 
Engine, Tumansky R25-300. Oh, nine tons. Oh, that's quite heavy. Interesting. So, Tumansky engines. I've not heard Tumansky engines in a long time. Nowadays, they're like AL something something. Or RD something something. And then the China Chinese have the WS. The Americans have their GE or the Pratt and Whit Whitney F series. The Japanese did make one interesting engine, like a test engine or something. But they haven't gone anywhere after the prototype with it. Then obviously you have Rolls Royce and Smecma or Snecma. I think it's Snecma N. Well, then there's those. The turbojet. Top speed, Mach 2.05, 2,175 so kilometers per hour at high altitude. Range, 1,210 kilometers. Again, Combat not too bad. radius. That's a good range. Service ceiling, 19,000 meters, 62,336 feet. This I can't tell, because I'm used to hearing Up about plane service ceilings in feet, not in meters. Armament. 1x 23 millimeters twin barrel cannon, 200 uh -huh. rounds. Up to 2,000 kilograms of external stores, including air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, and rocket pods. Modern upgrades. So basically, it can it has four hard points. It can carry four missiles, or two missiles and two drop tanks. In countries like India, the MiG-21 has been upgraded to extend its operational life. The MiG-21 Bison variant features Advanced avionics and radar systems Compatibility with modern air-to-air -air missiles like the RO-73 Enhanced cockpit instrumentation for better situational awareness If you found this topic interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this our channel. Very interesting. Let us know and in the comments. hopefully this interesting plane can go rest up relatively soon and the Air Force also gets a good replacement for this thing. Beautiful plane, fantastic capabilities but just not of this time. It needs to rest and for that to happen the Air Force needs a replacement. Good video.